Oh, hello everybody! I didn't know I hit record, but I I committed, so here we are. We're, we're starting now. And this is my Friday Reads with a tinge of a mail haul in there. But we will do this. So, um, I think I'm going to start with the new thing that I picked up. So this came in the mail. Pocket Poets series, Lunch Poems by Frank O'Hara, number 19. This, um, again, was another book that I picked up based off of the poems that I liked in the um, Pocket Poets 60th anniversary collection long title that I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and I'll go ahead and read the back of this because it's awful short. Often this poet, strolling through the noisy, splintered glare of a Manhattan noon, has paused at a sample Olivetti to type up 30 or 40 lines of ruminations or pondering more deeply, has withdrawn it to a darkened... Where? That looks weird. Firehouse to limb his computed misunderstandings of the eternal questions of life, coexistence and depth, while never forgetting to eat lunch, his favorite meal. Okay, if I just had to read that to know if I wanted to pick this book up, I don't think I ever would have touched this thing with a 10-foot fucking pole. That is not a good blurb. Not a good blurb, City Lights. You fucked up. Not a good blurb. But, um... Yeah, the, the book so far, I've only read the first four poems in here. And, um... They do feel very stream of consciousness. Um... Very much pondering things and um so far it's fun i'm liking it don't like that that was the first time i read that jesus that was that was kind of a ugh. so there's that next i'm still reading hank the life of charles bukowski by neely Cherkovsky. and this if you recall the last time we talked about this i was glowing about chapter eight and said, if you only buy this book for chapter eight, it's worth it. <clears throat> and I was really hoping that the rest of the book would follow in chapter eight's footsteps. So far, it has not done that. Um, there are some nice, um, what do you call it? Uh, little stories from Neely that um, I've only heard in here, so that's kind of cool. But they're so few and far between compared to all of the stuff that um, Bukowski himself wrote in a lot of his books. So if you have read a ton of Bukowski, a lot of the stuff in here, um, at least what what is that the first two thirds of the book is um, going to be stuff you've already heard of except chapter 8 chapter 8 it's a good chapter worth it and finally um, Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman I, I tell ya I tell ya I tell ya I tell ya this is kind of dense and kind of repetitive. And poetry can have repetitive nature to it. Like, that's fine. But when things feel... Like, each line that comes out of here, I'm like, oh, that's a good line. That's a good line. Not everyone, but there's a lot of lines where I'm like, ooh, that's a fucking good line right there. Um, 
but for the most part, it it's very dense for what it is. And um, it's making me want to go and read his shorter stuff. But um, just like kind of longing for um, more direct stuff um, is what this book makes me do. And you will hear me say this a lot in book reviews and stuff that I read a book and all it made me want to do was go back and read this other book. And I'm starting to get that vibe, but I'm trying to take this in slowly and just like digest a few lines at a time and sit with those and meditate on those and the things that people do. So leaves of grass. I'm going to try to actually um, get through that this weekend. And then um, last but not least, I'll hold this up so you could look at it, but um, it's not in this one, I don't think. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. But um, The Haunter in the Dark uh, by Lovecraft, because this week I'll be doing that video. So I'm going to be reading that too. So what are you guys reading this week? Let me know down below. And um, let's conversate about these things. Oh, real quick. If you like um, horror, and um, I'm not just saying this because Mindy... Um, read one of my books in her thing but Mindy did a wrap up of a read along or a readathon she did last month she read quite a few like horror indie authors and there were probably like four or five books that she talked about in that video that I'm like Oh my god, I want to read that book. So, um, maybe I'll link it. I, I'll, I'll link it down below. But um, she talked about a couple books by this guy. I think his name is Eric LaRocca. That sounded amazing. And the artwork on the covers like just screamed out at me. And um, so I might check those ones out. And then there was another book... And it seemed like it had two different titles to it. So I think that's why I keep getting confused. The artwork looked cool. But like it had this um, feel when she was talking about it that it was um, very reminiscent of Fall of the House of Usher. And I don't know if it is or not, but that was like the vibe I got from it. I think it was called something like the, the House That Bled or something like that. Or I'm probably making this up now. Like I completely written another story and I'm just like playing that in my head right now um, but that sounded really good too so um, there's a possibility that I might go pick some of those up um, but yeah so I'll leave that down below um, let me know what you're reading and I will talk to you guys later bye bye I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.